Ladies and gentlemen, hey, hi, how you doing? Welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for stopping by today. We got an absolutely massive, massive blog from Call of Duty going over all of the launch details, basically everything you need to know before the new era begins with campaign early access. We got a bunch of different stuff going on here. Obviously, week zero with everything. We got the campaign. We got uh, available at launch with multiplayer and spec ops. We've got all sorts of different details here. Shared engine, uh, additional launch intel. So lots and lots and lots of stuff to break down here. So an introduction to the new era on October 20th. Anyone who pre-ordered digitally can get the early access for the campaign. Of course, we know about this uh, all by now. So this announcement is the final piece of intel before you get your hands on with the campaign. So this will be like the last main blog, it seems like. So October 19th at 10 a.m. Pacific time for all platforms, the preloading begins for the uh, early access campaign. So you can go ahead and download that before it drops on October 20th at 10 a.m. Pacific time. So, you know, mark your calendar, set your alarms accordingly. We're gonna have plenty of content going live each day uh, for all the campaign stuff. Also, let me know down in the comments below, should we do a full playthrough of the campaign on this channel. I'm definitely curious to see what your guys' interest is on that. We also have the full game preload, depending on the platform, preload the rest of MW2 or uh, before or during early access campaign to ensure everything's ready at launch. So they have like the full rollout of everything uh, preloadable there, obviously. Uh, so the 26th, the 20th, the 19th is all uh, that stuff. They also have the full map here. If I go ahead and zoom in, this is like the official uh, launch map for timings of everything. So uh, 2100 Pacific is when uh, the game is going to go live. That's 9 p.m. Pacific. That's when everything starts to go live officially for launch day on October 27th, midnight Eastern time on the 28th, essentially there. So that's when it officially launches uh, the preseason for MW2. Level up through the military ranks to unlock all the base loadout items, complete each weapon platform, yada, yada, yada. Once the game launches, Vault Edition owners gain access to that. Then we have November 16th, which is the launch of season one, which introduces Warzone 2, DMZ, and all of that. So in addition to a host of other content, a returning fan favorite multiplayer map and additional spec ops missions arrive to MW2. All players can drop into the all Mazra as a part of Warzone, uh, survive a brand new experience in DMZ and enjoy a brand new battle pass system with two free functional weapons. Uh, and then also Vault Edition owners can activate their free seasonal battle pass and tier skips. All that going live on November 16th. On December 14th, Season 1 Reloaded introduces raids. Special Ops receives the very first episode of Raids for Operator Smaster, plus another legendary multiplayer map for MW2 multiplayer, and Warzone 2 as its first post-launch update. So we're getting all sorts of dates here. I love the fact that December 14th is before the holiday break, so all the updates for Season 1 Reloaded should be, uh, you know, sorted out and everything uh, while the devs go on holiday break. We have week zero uh, gameplay and whatnot going on here. So uh, obviously this is all campaign early access. We've talked about this plenty. You also get your bonus rewards for going through and actually completing everything as well. Campaign, the next chapter, pretty basic stuff here going over the campaign overview. It's another COD story. I'm very, very excited for it. We got, like I said, all of the rewards that you can earn there. As we scroll through multiplayer and spec ops, this is what I'm especially interested in. Modern Warfare 2's multiplayer defines emergent gameplay on day one. There's going to be 12 unique modes, 10 traditional modes on core maps, and then two ground war modes on the battle maps. So uh, these maps are grouped into one of the three regional categories. So important for what's going to be available on day one. Obviously, with seasonal updates and mid-season updates, we'll get more modes and more maps as well. By the way, as we're going through all this, if you guys are new here every single day, I got you covered with all things going on in COD. The latest news, updates, leaks, rumors, everything going on, you're going to find it right here. So be sure to hit that subscribe button. We're on the road to 1 million subs. Uh, one multiplayer map within Al Mazra is Al Bagra Fortress, located on the southern shore of the region. Al Mazra itself, this metropolitan area and its outskirts within the Republic of Adal, serves the main region of Warzone 2. Several core and battle maps will be based in this uh, region. So a lot of the locations on Al Mazra are going to be multiplayer maps. So that's pretty exciting. Um, we obviously get some images here as well, which is cool. Uh, Las Almas, this of course we know from the beta, that was a map as well. Uh, one multiplayer map is from elsewhere in the universe. Rest of the world, 
The last group of multiplayer locales is an assortment of core maps with no specific region, a mixture of places within the campaign and completely outside of the entire main storyline. So just random maps here and there. Uh, Spec Ops, replayable co-op raids coming in season one. An evolution of Spec Ops from MW 2019. This experience will initially feature three missions at launch, all taking place in all Mazras. So this looks like an infill one of some kind, like under, under, uh, you know, Nightfall. That's pretty cool. Bad situation, infiltrated town in the dead of night to uncover intel and evidence left behind by Al Katala before exfilling. Stealth is the key to survival. So we get a lot of really cool, like in-depth missions here. Vehicle escape. Uh, there's also the observatory defense as well. And then again, like the stealth is like emphasized there. So in Spec Ops, operators will have full access to a backpack to store equipment and one of three kits that are similar to a set of perks, field upgrades, and streaks in multiplayer. Uh, there's the assault, there's the medic and the engineer. So you can sort of tailor that to your gameplay there. That's pretty interesting. Uh, kits are leveled up by earning stars through missions and mission related challenges, which gives all of these uh, launch missions plenty of replayability. There's also progression, the journey at launch and more intel prior to release. At launch, there's more to MW2 than traditional military ranks. Prior to Season 1, which will feature a new battle pass and uh, seasonal prestige, players will have access to military ranks, which is 1 to 55, so 55 is the max level. Weapon platforms, of course, with the, uh, with the different camos and mastery challenges. Spec Ops kits, we also have the base operator unlock challenges that earn 18 operators through challenges in the campaign multiplayer and spec ops daily challenges and additional challenges as well best way to prepare for warzone 2 uh through mw2 multiplayer and spec ops familiarize yourself with the map uh operators 25 available at launch actually 18 can be unlocked in the preseason plus get two mil sim operators with four unique outfits by default four unlocked via the vault edition and one playstation exclusive operator as well over 30 weapon platforms at launch for over 50 unique weapons uh movement firing all that stuff and ricochet will obviously be available in warzone 2 as well we also get our operators as well so uh this is our full list here actually this is the spec grew operator list with all of the characters here obviously some of them we saw in the beta and then we go through that's all their names and descriptions ink slasher Corey, he's gonna have a field day with all this intel we also have core attack as well which again we already saw some of these rose returns here um we also saw some of these back in the beta as i was saying so we got all the details on all of them we don't need to go too in depth on that uh weapons the weapon platform and gunsmith at launch is going to be 33 unique weapon platforms available to unlock each weapon platform can contain up to six weapons uh, by unlocking all the weapon platforms and completing all applicable weapon progress uh, you'll be able to have 51 primary and secondary weapons to choose for a loadout expect 10 rifles four battle rifles seven smgs six lmgs four shotguns six marksman rifles three snipers a riot shield five sidearms four launchers and one melee secondary that's the list of things you'll need to complete for the camo grind this year. So just keep that in mind. One shared engine, of course, we already know this is built from the ground up for MW2 and Warzone 2. Ricochet is coming on day one. We've heard about that as well. Outside of launch of MW2, get exclusive in-game rewards by watching any Twitch stream uh, during launch week. So that's gonna be pretty interesting. There'll be Twitch drops enabled for a new blueprint, a sticker, a charm, and then also a calling card as well, depending on how long you watch that Twitch stream from October 28th to November 6th. Though so we got that going on as as well um and then also get ready for the cod shop we got that going on pre-order for all the rewards we'll be going over bonus rewards and all that stuff probably later today so stay tuned for that but this blog uh it gave uh, a lot of intel to say the least a lot of key information here we might sum some of this up in uh, other videos as well in the future in the coming days prior to launch to get you guys completely ready for launch with everything you need to know but uh yeah all that being said that is effectively everything you need from this blog all the main features and everything if you guys enjoyed the video let me know by dropping a like on it let's try and aim for 1500 likes on this one also if you guys are new to the channel every single day i got you covered with news updates loadouts tips all that going on you'll find it right here so feel free to hit that sub button uh but once again thank you so much for tuning in and until next time take it easy have an awesome rest of your day and i will catch you guys later peace out